Trinidad and Tobago has risen 25 points in the Fraser Institute energy ratings from 69 to 44, signaling a growing confidence in the energy sector here. For tonight's Inside Business Report, Roger Dwarka explains. Set against a backdrop of fluctuating energy prices and global trends that suggest the oil price may continue to be depressed till mid-2016, any outside boost that aids investment into the local energy economy is always welcome. Whilst most people may not have heard about the Canadian-based Fraser Institute, it's listed amongst the world's top think tanks that examine competitiveness in global markets. Moving 25 points upwards is significant from position 44 between 2012 and 2014 out of 156 countries surveyed. Trinidad and Tobago has been positioned globally as a major energy investment destination and ranks amongst the top 10 LNG exporters in the world. During the past five years, there's been significant investment in its on- and offshore energy endeavors, with oil exploration beginning once again on land and major deep water exploration and drilling contracts being signed with international energy companies. The return of Royal Dutch Shell in May to these shores also helped to boost global confidence in energy investment here. The European company took a stake in Atlantic LNG, and the recent tie-up with BG, which has a major presence here, has also added to investor interest. The Fraser Institute bases its ratings on a global listing of countries with the best investment climate for oil and gas exploration and production. According to the Institute, the survey considered areas such as political stability, fiscal terms, taxation uncertainty over administration, and fiscal and regulatory regimes. Recently, the Ryder Scott report revealed there are 70 billion barrels of oil in untapped reserves, but most of it is located in deep water off the southwest coast, where investment and drilling costs are significantly different to land-based operations. Roger Dwarako, C Inside Business.